Hey Facebook world, actor and artist Matthew Ashley here, here to make another instructional video for you, giving you some tips to try to make your drawings more realistic. And today, we're back with our friend from outer space and out of this world, Alf. This is uh, my human tripods that I stole. Hi. Ah, anyway. That's a 30 year old authentic Alf doll there. And now it's mine. No, so, it's not. Yes it is. It's mine. <laughs> And while I have the chance, um, I did release my brand new drawing of Joker just yesterday, or actually this morning. And this is the final drawing right here. If y'all would like to see it, it's uh, available at my Square site. You can go to my website and check it out, or my Facebook page, or Instagram, or I'm everywhere. Just check me out. But, but that's the Joker. But without further ado, we're going to work on out today. So I'm gonna flip around as my human tripod stands still as usual. Oh God. Okay. And of course we gotta have Alf here to make sure we're doing the right stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on Alf's face today. I'm uh, gonna do all this texture and see what we can do with that. So I'm going to automatically just start off with some HB lead in my mechanical pencil and just start doing a light shade and we're going to go around his actual point of his nose to kind of make that pop out he was always one of my fun or favorite people to draw back in the 80s and his nose would give me the biggest problems the problem is always trying to make it look 3d and not look 2d where it's just flat Now, as you can see, I'm doing a really light layer. I've got my pencil really loosely in my hands as I do this, too. I'm just trying to fill in any little white gaps I see along the way. Nothing famous. No, I mean, nothing special. Nothing out of the ordinary. And, of course, you can tell Al's you know, snout here, it's in sections. It's like three or four sections here. So that's what we want to make sure and see is that the sections are you know popping out the way they should be just filling in those little white gaps like I said Then I'm going to take a Q-tip and get a brand new one. And I'm just going to start blending that in, in tiny circles and little, little marks. You don't want to do big old streaks, do little movements. And this is just where we start. Like I said, everything's done in layers. This is just the beginning layer. We're going to go darker from here. You see how all that's blending together? And you don't have to put a lot of pressure on your Q-tip as you're doing this. And I'm doing this next section. I don't change Q-tips because it's the same HB graphite on the Q-tip, so we want to keep it, you know, as the same as we possibly can. Or keep it consistent, that's a better way to put it. Of course, we got Alf's little beauty mark here. And what separates these sections is like dark brown divider sections. I don't know how else to describe it, but that in, the, in his snout. So I'm going to take one of my blending sticks that I've used, you know, quite a bit. And I'm just going to go along that line here. And then, of course, I'm going to just blend it to the sides. You don't want just a straight line of, you know, uh, shadow or anything. You want to blend it 
make it look natural. I'm going to go to this next section. If you can break his face down into parts, it makes it a lot easier. And there's some shadow underneath here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there just to give myself a reference. And I'm going to put a little shadow underneath here so I can see where his snout ends. And since I've done these two sections, I'm going to go back. Oh, I forgot to blend this one, so I'm going to go back in here and blend this one a little bit more. If you're going to do it, do it right. That's what I say. And for those of you that don't know who ALF is, figure it out quick because it's one of the funniest shows you will ever watch in your life. I miss ALF. Somebody bring ALF back. And from here, I'm going to get my mechanical pencil that I use as an eraser. I just, you know, I replaced it. It's got a really nice straight edge on it. And I'm just going to go around the front of those dividing sections and it's going to pop out the shadow underneath. Anytime we want something to pop out, you always want something to be darker underneath. And plus, you know, we're just cleaning these lines up too. I'm going to the next section and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going around adding this and plus it adds a little bit of a highlight too and of course we're going to blend this in too but that's all in another stage and then we're going to use our handy drafting brush here knock off all that ex excess and then i'm going to go back in here and i'm going to start texturing and make it a little bit darker and i'm just using one of my you know blending sticks that i've used before it might be too dark. If it is, I'll, you know, use a different one. But I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to add some weight and some shadow to where the snout is underneath here. Just to kind of pop that out just a little bit more. If you're a member of PETA, don't watch ALF. He, uh, he really likes cats. And I don't mean just as a friend. He likes to eat them. But, you know, he thought it was weird that we ate cows. So, you know, it kind of evens out. I'm just going around the side of his face here. And I'm going to add some darker. I'm just uh, pressing a little bit harder to make it darker on the bottom here just to kind of make that pop out a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and lightly add some shade and some graphite to this section and I'm gonna go ahead and in small little circles here just kind of add some graphite around the eyes So we've got a good start on him right now. From here, we're just going to start going a little bit darker in places. And you just keep adding layers to it from there. So this is to get you started doing stuff like this. Uh, make sure if you want to check out my other videos and all my other artwork, my website is artofmatthewatchley.com. I invite you to go check it out and check out all my other social media. But next time, we'll be dealing with Alf's hair. So be sure and check me out. See you guys.